see the next point is here that we are going to see today that is the food spoil is and types of food spoil is here so the different types of food spoil is we are going to see here so what is meant by food spoil is so that food spoil is it can be defined as any change in the visual smell and texture of food material that makes it unacceptable for the consumption or for eating purposes so due to the entry of different types of microorganisms in the food material that food there is a some changes are takes place due to the metabolic activity of that microorganisms and that changes may be visual changes that may be uh, related to the smell as well as texture of the food material and because of all these changes that food becomes unacceptable for consumption or for eating purposes so this is called as the food spoilage or that food spoilage is the process in which that food deteriorates to the points it is not edible to humans or its quality of edibility becomes reduced so the quality of edibility or uh, that get decreases here because of that metabolic changes or that food becomes unfit for edible purposes for the human and this is called as the food spoilers so these are the uh, characteristics of the food spoilers here so what types of changes takes place in the food uh, after it gets spoiled and that includes there is a unpleasant smell then unpleasant taste then uh, color change the next one is here texture change like this here and it becomes moldy or that is due to the growth of fungi or growth of the yeast so these are some characteristic changes or the characteristics of the spoilage of food material here and that food spoilage it can be due to the different reasons so that food spoilage may be due to damage by insects it may be due to physical injury it may be due to degradation by enzymes that is enzymatic degradation or that food spoilage it may be due to uh, activity of the microorganisms so all these are the reasons which are responsible for the food spoilage then there are different types of food spoilages are there for example physical spoilages so what is this physical spoilages just it is nothing but the moisture of loss uh, or there is a gain of moisture here or moisture loss or moisture gain that results into the spoilage and that type of spoilage it is called as the physical spoilage that means this physical spoilage it is not due to the microorganisms but it is due to the gain or loss of moisture or water from the uh, vegetables or that food material here just we know that if you keep that food material or that vegetables for example for longer duration so before microbial attack that foods or that vegetables they get wrinkled and this wrinkledness it is due to the loss of moisture from the uh, that vegetables here then another one is here chemical spoilage so there is a in chemical spoilage there is a oxidation of fats takes place or there is a browning of the fruits and vegetables that are called as the chemical spoilage here in this way and third one is the microbial spoilage so this microbial spoilage it is due to the growth of microorganisms or it is due to the production of enzymes by the microorganisms and that results into the one type of spoilage so this spoilage it is caused by microorganisms that's why it is called as microbial spoilage see this is the microbial spoilage here examples so that microbial spoilage may be because of bacteria it may be because of yeast okay it may be because of molds so these are the different types of microorganisms here which are involved in the spoilage of food material that means they are involved in the microbial spoilage and these microorganisms include bacteria yeast and mold so there are different types of bacteria are there which can be responsible for the causation of spoilage of food material and when that bacteria attacks on the food material they breaks down that food they uh, um, into that acids and other waste products these are produced in that food material okay and while that bacteria itself sometimes may or may not be harmful but the waste products which are produced by this microbial activity or by that microorganisms that may be unpleasant to taste or they may even be harmful to the human health so though that microorganisms not harmful 
but they can cause the spoilage and the, whatever that products are produced in that food material because of this microbial activity that products are unpleasant to taste or they change the taste of that food material and whatever that waste products are produced here that products may be harmful to the human health so though that microorganisms are pathogenic in nature then that yeast can be responsible for the decomposition of food which have the high sugar content so those a uh, food product here which consists of large quantity of sugar or high concentration of sugar so that products get contaminated with this yeast and they get spoiled by this yeast here and that same effect it is useful that is the same effect in the sense here that fermentation of sugar by yeast here for example okay so that same effect it is useful in the production of different types of foods as well as beverages and that includes bread because it is produced by the fermentation of that uh, dough here okay so that results into the formation of bread uh, then yogurt as well as some alcoholic uh, beverages so that are produced by by a process uh, which is performed which is done or carried out by the microorganisms and that process is called as fermentation process okay then there are uh, some spoiled foods these are harmless to eat that means though that particular foods are spoiled and if we are eating that spoiled foods so it does not cause any harm here so they are harmless to eat and they simply be uh, diminished in quality so that quality will be uh, decreases here because of spoilage but there are some foods are there which in which there is a spoilage takes place and eating of such spoiled food that can be harmful to the human body so for example uncooked or undercooked animal flesh that spoils or which is spoiled it is generally toxic okay and consumption of such toxic or spoiled meat and meat products or un uncooked or undercooked animal flesh that results into the serious illness or sometimes death of the human or that person so these toxic effects from the consumption of that spoiled food material that is called as the food poisoning and this is also called as the food borne illness so whatever that food borne diseases are there food borne intoxications are there or food borne uh, food poisoning is there it is due to the consumption of that particular food material which is contaminated with microorganisms or which is spoiled by microorganisms and which consist of the toxic product produced by that spoilage causing microorganisms and when we eat such food material contaminated or spoiled food material having toxic substances then we get uh, infected that is we get suffer from the food poisoning or food borne illness or food intoxications see this is the microbial spoilage and how uh, does it manifest itself so there is a that means how we can under uh, we can observe or we can understand that particular food material is spoiled so that is by the visible growth because when that particular food is Uh, contaminated with uh, particular uh, spoilage causing microorganisms for example so we can observe the growth on that food material and generally we know that that is on the bread or on um, nuts or uh, on the bakri for example okay jo uh, which is made of from jar flour or like that so if you keep for longer duration or open as it is so there will be fungal growth will be there uh, or molds will be grow there okay so that is nothing but the visible growth and from that if we are observing that growth on that particular food material that we can say that that particular uh, food material is uh, get spoiled then gas production slime formation is there that is a uh, layer of microbial growth will be formed on the surface of that food material and off flavors so that off flavors it is also the one indication of the spoilage of that food material then these are the sequence of events in the spoilage process so how that foods get spoiled so that microorganisms they have to get entry into the food from a source or from a uh, more sources here just in last lecture we have seen different types of sources of microorganisms in food and so when if that food is to be spoiled so that microorganisms they must be enter into the food material then that particular food material in which that microorganisms are entered they should favor the growth of these microorganisms that means that food consist of all nutrients which are essential for the growth of microorganisms 
so at that time only that microorganisms will grow that means that food environment they favor the growth of microorganisms after that that food need to be stored under the growth condition for a sufficient length of time so though that microorganisms grow in that food material but if you are keeping that food material in uh, low temperature for example so at that time these microorganisms uh, will be uh, so that microorganisms they can uh, grow and uh, so they cannot grow at low temperature for example so therefore it is need to be stored under the ideal growth condition which support the growth of microorganisms okay and then to allow the sufficient number necessary to cause this spoilage so that uh, changes should be takes place in the food material and finally when there are changes takes place in that food material due to the metabolic activity that means we can say here that particular food get spoiled okay so these are the chemical changes which are caused by the different types of microorganisms and that includes degradation of carbohydrates present in the food material breakdown or degradation of nitrogenous compounds then degradation of or breakdown of lipids and pectin hydrolysis so all these are the chemical changes which takes place in the food material when that microorganisms contaminate the food or when they enter the food material now why that particular food material gets spoiled foods jo hai unka spoilage kyu hota hai to yahan pe alag alag reasons hai ek reason hai inadequate storage temperature agar aapne use sahi storage temperature pe store nahi kiya hai to definitely ये जो फूड मटेरियल है ये स्पॉइलेज स्पॉइल हो सकता है ओके okay? अगर हम आइसक्रीम का एग्जांपल लेंगे हम अगर आपने वैसे उसे तो डीप फ्रीजर में रखना है इफ यू आर नॉट कीपिंग इन द डीप फ्रीजर सो आफ्टर सम टाइम्स इट विल गेट स्पॉइल्ड या फिर दूध अगर हम गर्म करके हम फ्रीजर में नहीं रखते हैं तो आफ्टर सम टाइम्स और सम आवर्स दैट मिल गेट स्पॉइल्ड तो इसीलिए प्रॉपर टेम्परेचर पे उसे रखना है एंड इफ यू आर नॉट स्टोरिंग दैट food material at proper temperature that means if you are keeping in inadequate storage temperature then that milk or that particular food material get spoiled then prolonged storage times agar aap zarurat se zyada us particular food material ko ghar mein rakh rahe ho ki chalo baad mein khayenge agle hafte khayenge to definitely uska period jab ek khatam ho jayega to wahan pe us particular food material ka spoilage ho sakta hai then इम्प्रॉपर वेंटिलेशन ये भी आइडियल कंडीशन यहाँ पे है देन क्रॉस कंटेमिनेशन मतलब दूसरे कहीं पे जैसे कि हमें हमेशा बोलते हैं हम कि अगर घर में प्याज बहुत सारे हैं और उसमें एक दो प्याज अगर स्पॉइल हो गए हैं तो उसे हम क्या करते हैं कि उसे साइड में निकाल के फेंक देते हैं बराबर तो नहीं तो फिर यहाँ पे क्या हो सकता है कि उसी कंटेमिनेटेड स्पॉइल्ड प्याज से जो अच्छे प्याज है उस पर्टिकुलर कंटेनर में तो वो भी वहां पे कंटेमिनेट हो सकते हैं और वो स्पॉइल हो सकते हैं तो ये इसे हम क्रॉस कंटेमिनेशन कहेंगे एंड एक्सेसिव डिले बिटवीन द रिसीविंग एंड स्टोरिंग अगर आप डिले कर रहे हो मतलब पर्टिकुलर फूड मटेरियल मार्केट से लाने में या फिर उसके पास साथ उसके पास अगर जो बेच रहा है उनके पास अगर दस दिन से ऑलरेडी फूड मटेरियल है और उसमें भी आप वही से ला रहे हो एंड लाने के बाद भी घर में स्टोर कर रहे हो तो वहां पर स्पॉयलेज हो सकता है तो ये कुछ कॉमन कॉजेस है फूड स्पॉयलेज के देन स्पॉयलेज साइंस तो वट आर दॉयलेज साइंस यर मतलब क्या क्या चेंजेस उसमें होते हैं या फिर क्या साइंस वहां पे होती है कि जिससे हम कह सकते हैं कि दैट पर्टिकुलर फूड गेट स्पॉइल्ड तो एक है ऑर्डर सो बिकॉज ऑफ ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स विच इज कॉल्ड एज प्यूट्रीफेक्शन सो दैट रिजल्ट इन टू दी बैड ऑर्डर एन एग्जाम्पल इज दी रॉटन एग स्मेल then sliminess so due to the primarily uh, to surface accumulation of microbial cells jo slime wahan pe taiyar hoti hai surface pe to ye slime ki is wajah se hoti hai matlab sticky substance wahan pe kabhi kabhi taiyar hota hai so this is because of the uh, slime produced by the microbial cells to ya fir ye un bacteria ki wahan pe growth hoti hai microorganisms ki wahan pe growth hoti hai aur wo ek slime layer wahan pe form karte hai and that is also due to the manifestation of tissue degradation microbial ka contamination jab particular food ka hota hai to wahi pe agar bahut sare bacteria microorganisms wahan pe grow hoye ho jate hai to ye tissue ko degrade karte hai break down karte hai aur usse se wahan pe ek sliminess taiyar ho jati hai and discoloration 
अगर कलर भी कुछ पर्टिकुलर फूड मटेरियल का चेंज होता है चाहे वो वेजिटेबल्स हो चाहे वो फ्रूट्स हो तो वो भी एक स्पॉयलेस का साइन है या फिर हम कह सकते हैं अगर वहां पे कलर चेंज हुआ है डिस्कलरेशन हुआ है तो वी कैन से दैट दैट पर्टिकुलर फूड मटेरियल इज स्पॉइल्ड ओके देन नेक्स्ट वन इज यर नेक्स्ट साइन इज सोरिंग सो दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एसिड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोर मिल्क फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड देन गैस फॉर्मेशन दैट मीट फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिकम स्पॉन्जी ड्यू टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गैस और देर इज अग सोलंग और बबलिंग पैकेज फॉर्मेशन सो दैट इज अनदर साइन ऑफ फूड स्पॉयल इज यर देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फूड्स बाय द एज ऑफ स्पॉयल इज सो दैट फूड्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स अकॉर्डिंग टू हाउ दैट फूड्स गेट spoiled so that we are going to see here so that foods can be classified into three different categories uh, on the age of spoilage that means how they get spoiled one is stable or non perishable foods so what are these stable or non perishable foods so those foods which do not spoil unless handled carelessly okay so if you are handling that foods very carelessly at that time only generally that food get spoiled and such foods are called as stable foods or these are known as non perishable foods and that includes sugar flour and dry beans okay to ye jo grains hai beans hai ya fir flour hai sugar hai to ye kaise hai stable hai ye non perishable foods hai ye generally matlab uh, agar hum carelessly use handle karne tak to ye spoil nahi hote second type jo hai semi perishable foods so if these foods are properly handled and stored so they will remain unspoiled for a fairly longer period matlab agar hum achhi tarah se use rakhte hai to ye jo food se vegetable se fruit se to ye kuch din tak achhi tarah se ya fir acche condition mein wahan pe reh sakte hai ya fir ya fir unka spoilage nahi hota hai and examples include potatoes potatoes hum zyada din tak rakh sakte hai aur kabhi bhi aap observe kijiye jab bhi agar aap market se sabzi late ho तो पोटैटो हम थोड़ा सा एज कम्पेयर एज कम्पेयर टू टोमेटो और ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स पोटैटो की जो क्वांटिटी हमारी होती है वो हमेशा ज्यादा होती है इसका रीजन क्या है कि पोटैटोज को हम ज्यादा दिन तक अच्छे कंडीशन में ऐसे ही वहां पे रख सकते हैं लेकिन जो ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स है टोमेटोज है ये थोड़े जल्दी स्पॉइल हो जाते हैं तो ये जो पोटैटोज है एप्पल्स है नट्स है इसे हम क्या कहेंगे सेमी पेरिशेबल फूड्स कहेंगे देन उसके बाद है पेरिशेबल फूड्स so th these groups includes most of our important daily foods and that spoiled readily unless special preservative methods are used matlab jab tak hum koi achhi preservative method in particular foods ko store karne ke liye use nahi karte tab tak ye matlab easily spoil ho jate hain agar hum acche condition mein preservatives mein rakhte hain ya fir koi method use karte hain so that can be remain in a good condition for longer duration and that includes examples of these perishable foods includes meats fish milk vegetables then eggs and so all these are the perishable foods so this is about the perishable foods here now the next point we are going to see that is spoilage of different types of foods to alag alag prakar ke jo foods hai inka spoilage kaise hota hai ya fir kaun se kaun se prakar ke स्पॉयलेज वहां पे होते हैं अलग अलग फूड्स में और सो द फर्स्ट वन इज यर दैट इज दीट स्पॉयलेस ओके द फर्स्ट वन इज यर मीट स्पॉयलेस सो दैट सोर्सेस ऑफ कंटेमिनेशन हाउ दैट मीट एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट्स गेट कंटेमिनेटेड मतलब कहा से कौन से कौन से अलग अलग सोर्सेस से इस मीट एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट्स में माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम सेंटर होते हैं सो so, the sources of contamination of meat products includes meat and meat products includes cutting board contamination then conveyor belts matlab jahan se wo jo meat hai wo automatically wahan pe move hota hai jise hum kahenge conveyor belts then temperature then delay between the storage and distribution and fecal contamination from the intestine of that self animals to ye alag alag sources hai jiski wajah se ये जो मीट या फिर मीट प्रोडक्ट से ये कंटेमिनेट होते हैं या फिर वहां पे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एंटर होते हैं देन सो दैट स्टोरेज टेम्परेचर इट इज द सिंगल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्रोल फैक्टर फॉर द मीट स्पॉयलेस मतलब एक अगर आप अच्छी तरह से स्टोरेज टेम्परेचर वहां पे मेंटेन करते हो तो दैट विल कंट्रोल दी स्पॉयलेस ऑफ मीट एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट्स ओके एंड दैट मेनी जेनरा 
of molds they grow on the surface of meat product or meat and by growing on the surface of that uh, meat they can cause this spoilage and that molds include penicillium mucor then cladosporium alternaria so these are the different genera of mold which can cause the surface spoilage here and but they cannot grow on the meat which is stored below 5 degree celsius temperature तो अगर आप ये जो मीट एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट से ये 5 डिग्री सेल्सियस के नीचे अगर आप स्टोर करते हो तो यहाँ पे ये मोल्ड ग्रो नहीं होंगे सो दैट मीट प्रोडक्ट इट रिमेन इन ए गुड कंडीशन और फॉर ए लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन ईयर एंड दैट मीट स्पॉयलेज हाउ यू यू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर दैट मीट स्पॉयलेज इज टेक्स प्लेस और नॉट सो दैट मीट स्पॉयलेज इट कैन बी कैरेक्टराइज बाय दी एपियरेंस ऑफ ऑफ ऑर्डर्स सो दिस ऑफ ऑर्डर्स एज वेल एज स्लाइम फॉर्मेशन and these are the indications these are the signs of spoilage of meat and they the surface mold it can be the load of that surface molds can be low, uh, more uh, from 10 to the power 7 colony colony forming units per centimeter cube matlab itni zyada microorganisms wahan pe hote hain aur ye jo slime wahan pe taiyar hoti hai surface pe so that slime it is due to the accumulation of bacterial cells मतलब बैक्टीरियल सेल्स का जब पॉपुलेशन वहां पे बढ़ जाता है सरफेस पे मतलब ज्यादा कंटेमिनेशन होता है तो वहां पे स्लाइम लेयर तैयार होती है ओके देन दैट मिड स्पॉयलेज दैट मे बी द पोल्ट्री एंड फिशेस दैट ऑकर्स विदाउट एनी सिग्निफिकेंट ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ द प्राइमरी प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर मतलब मीट का जो भी स्पॉयलेज होता है uh, चाहे वो पोल्ट्री uh, का हो या फिश का हो या मीट हो तो ये जनरली Uh, उसमें डिग्रेडेशन कुछ, uh, कुछ भी नहीं होता है प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर या फिर प्रोटीन का जो ब्रेकडाउन होता है वो वहां पे नहीं होता है फिर भी दैट पर्टिकुलर मीट एंड मीट प्रोडक्ट्स गेट स्पॉइल एंड दैट स्पॉइल बैक्टीरिया यूटिलाइज ग्लूकोज फ्री अमाइनो एसिड्स और अदर सिंपल नाइट्रोजनस कंपाउंड्स एंड दे इंक्रीजेस देयर पॉपुलेशन दैट कैन बी रीच टू टेन डेस्टी पावर एट कॉलोनी फार्मिंग यूनिट्स पर सी एम क्यूब सी एफ यू मीन्स कॉलोनी फार्मिंग यूनिट्स and at this large population there is a some changes takes place in the meat and that are due to the organoleptic quality so that quality will be changed here um, and that results into the spoilage of that meat and meat products so this is about the uh, fish meats here and the chemical composition is 75% water 18% protein 3% fat 1% ash then traces of this carbon hydrogen or like this vitamins are also there and uh, this is about the whole meat okay so the microflora microflora in the sense here the microorganisms present in the meat product natural microorganisms or the natural flora we can see here and that includes abhi kaun se kaun se microorganisms wahan pe hote hain gram negative aerobic rods and that includes pseudomonas pseudomonas fragae pseudomonas ludensis and pseudomonas fluorescens then acinetobacter is also there and cyclobacter immobilis is also there so these are the microorganisms gram negative microorganisms uh, which are present on the meat another one is here bacillus and clostridia for example clostridium perfringens they are also common in all types of meat har ek prakar ke meat mein bacillus and clostridia wahan pe hote hain and although that sub surface portions matlab uh, below below surface That in meat these are generally sterile. मतलब वहाँ भी कुछ microorganisms नहीं होते हैं. But some parts, for example, lymph nodes, they are heavily contaminated with the microorganisms. And mechanical disruption of the tissues during processing of that meat, they can uh, so this processing can distribute that contaminating microorganisms from meat surface throughout the product or throughout inside the meat here. So this is about the Uh, that fresh meat then another one is the ground meats so same microorganisms as a whole meats but these are in higher microbial population or more microbial population is there because the greater surface area that gives the microbial access in that food material uh, that can be trapped in the air also and the air later on it supports the growth of gram negative aerobic bacteria for example pseudomonas so pseudomonas ka contamination wahan pe zyada hota hai and during handling as well as processing also matlab jab bhi koi meat product wahan pe handle hota hai processing kiya jata hai uh, that may be the storage unit is cutting knives then grinders 
so they can add microorganisms or additional contamination to the food material or to the uh, meat here and heavily contaminated pieces for example of lymph node they can contaminate i entire lot matlab pura meat products ya fir meat wahan pe contaminate ho sakta hai when they are ground together matlab mix karte hue agar wahan pe ek piece bhi kuch pieces agar wahan pe contaminate ho to baki ka bhi meat product ya fir meat wahan pe contaminate hota hai uske baad hai vacuum packed meats so Not all oxygen is removed during the packaging. मतलब जब भी packaging किया जाता है meat का for example यहाँ पे तो उस वक्त oxygen पूरा का पूरा remove नहीं किया जाता so that is consumed by the respiration by aerobic microorganisms and tissue itself. मतलब जो uh, remaining oxygen है वो respiration के लिए use किया जाता है and this respiration it results into the formation of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide का वहाँ पे concentration बढ़ जाता है and that microflora shifts from predominantly gram negative aerobic microorganisms to gram positive aerobic anaerobic microorganisms as well as micro aerophilic that means which require the less oxygen that micro aerophilic lactic acid bacteria can also grow and that includes the lactobacillus then carnobacterium and leuconostoc so these are the lactic acid bacteria then next one is there that meat uh, so if nitrates have are added to the vacuum packaged meat for the preservation or to inhibit the clostridium botulinum in hams or in bacon these are the meat products here so that lactic acid bacteria domination is more pronounced matlab waha pe lactic acid bacteria waha pe jyada rahenge and vacuum packaged meats these are considered very safe and which are free from the many pathogenic bacteria or species ओके तो इस तरह से ये स्पॉइलेज वहां पे होता है एंड दैट स्पॉइलेज इन वैक्यूम पैकेज मीट इज मैनिफेस्ट तो वैक्यूम पैकेज मीट में कौन से कौन से प्रकार का स्पॉइलेज वहां पे होता है तो ये हम बाद में देखेंगे तो अभी